ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ನರಸಿಂಹ ನಮಃ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಬಾಲಕಾಂಡ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಸೆರೆಮನಿ ಸಮರಿ ವಿ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎನಿ ಇನ್ವಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ವೆಡ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ಡ್ ಈಕ್ವಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಗೋ ದೇರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಇಂಟ್ರಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿಲಿಮಿನರೀಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಇನ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ ಆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡೇ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ದಶರಥ ಮೇಡ್ ದ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಸಿವ್ ಕೌ ಡೊನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಟ್ರಿ ರೈಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಡೇ ಅಲೋನ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಯಂಟ್ ಯುದ್ಧಜೀತ್ ಟರ್ನ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಯುದ್ಧಜೀತ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆ ಕೆ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೈ ಕಿ ದಸ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೆಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಭರತ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ವೆಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಶರಥ ಸೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಹೆಮ್ ದ ರೂ ರೂಲರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆ ಕೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಫಾದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಇನ್ ಲಾ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಷನೇಟ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ವೆಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಹೂಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾವ್ ಓ ರಘೂಸ್ ಲೆಗ್ಯಾಟಿ ಓ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಫಾದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆ ಕೆ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಮೈ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಕೆ ಕೆ ಸನ್ ಭರತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಅಯೋಧ್ಯ ಓ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ದ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಯೋಧ್ಯ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಮಿಥಿಲಾ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದರ್ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಶಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಮೈ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸನ್ ಭರತ ಐ ಪ್ರಾಮ್ಪ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಸ್ ಯುದ್ಧ ಜೀತ್ ತೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಶರಥ then king dashratha on seeing the adorable guests who arrived in his presence and who is merited one for adoration dashratha adored idyajit well with full customary practices then on taking rest for that night along with his noble minded sons and again on getting up in the next morning and on performing morning observances as a duty bound king Dashrata arrived at the hall of Vedic rituals keeping the sage, sages in his forefront Rama arrived at his at his father together with all his brothers keeping sage Vasishta and other eminent saints ahead of them on an suitable and appropriate hour called victory and all the bride grooms are adorned with all kinds of jewelry appropriate for the wedding time and all have performed a auspicious ceremony for the marriage thread conducted prior to the marriage and all have thread bands tied around their wrists as they have performed an auspicious ceremony one that proceeds to marriage ceremony then the godly sage vasishta on going from vedic ritual hall to marriage hall said this to janaka o oh, best one among best people o king janaka having performed the auspicious marriage thread ceremony dashratha along with his sons are looking forward for the donor in marriages all the purusharthas the component va- the component values of life namely righteousness richness merry making and results of final release will occur will be occurring only if the benefactor and beneficiary meet isn't it hence let king dashratha come and then on actualizing this best marriage you two will be doing your best responsibility and showing your respect as a royal priest janaka is not just a decidedly valiant king but he is the profound knower of probity and principles besides being an unres- undeservedly generous king hence he has already made all arrangements and when he is spoken in this way by vasishta that king replied the sentence to the righteous honorable vasishta who is the doorman that prevents your entry or for whose order you all await with a restrained breath do you hesitate in your own house or what this kingdom is as good as yours isn't it so o eminent saint sage vasishta on absolutely performing the auspicious ceremony for the marriage thread and thereby tying thread band at the wrist my daughters have already arrived and they are all at the base of the altar fire like the irradiant jets of flames of radiant fires i am already ready i am already ready and awaiting for you remaining at this altar of fire let everything be done indeed without any delay what for the king dashratha is delaying so said janaka to vasishta on hearing that sentence of janaka then dashratha started towards the marriage hall and then he started to enter his sons one by one four in all into marriage hall along with all the assemblage of sages 
then that king from vidhya bloodline vaidhi bloodline janaka said in this way to vasishta oh the knower of minute detail of conducting a ceremony oh brahma sage oh mastery sage along with other sages you make happen all of the marriage ceremonies of rama the rejoicer of the world thus janaka spoke to vasishta thus said the godly sage vasishta on saying so be it to janaka embarked on arranging altar of fire keeping sage vishwamitra and the virtuous sage shantanada a four of him and that sage with great ascetism vasishta has arranged an altar of fire in the midpoint of the cool tashed manorial marriage shed decorating it with sandal paste and flowers then he promptly purified various colored hand vessels and lead conclave earthen vessels which are full with just sprouted springs and he sanctified every other golden vessel censures with fumes of intense count cells like vessels and short handed wooden spoons for scooping oblatory items from vessels for putting it in the long handled scoops and a long handled wooden scoop to drop those oblatory items into ritual fire and vessels filled with oblatory items like ghee water milk etc and vessels fill, filled with toasted rice flakes and vessels filled with holy yellow rice duly treated with turmeric and sanctified all articles of wedding ceremony by sprinkling holy yellow rice as a kind of dry ablution that is the act of action or bathing then the great resplendent that's brilliant and eminent say, saint vasishta neatly overlaid even size sacred grass on the altar of fire synchronizing with vedic chants and on preparing ritual fire by rubbing two wooden sticks called arani he placed the fire in the pit of altar which is aflame now and then reverently and in tune with the vedic hymns he he poured oblations liquid into the altar of fire with short handed and long handed wooden scoops then that king janaka led for sita who by now is decorated with every variety of bridal jewelry and on portioning her and face raghava in the presence of altar fire then janaka addressed rama who is an enhancer of his mother kaushalya's rejoice this is sita my daughter she conducts satisfactory herself in whatever duty you undertake take her wishfully let safeness be tied you take her palm in your palm she who is prosperous and husband she who is prosperous and husband devote will always be abiding you like your own shadow so saying that king janaka then poured forth water into the palms of rama which is purified with hymns then there occurred great flower showers from heavens while sages and gods staying in in firmament have exclaimed nice fine to the drum beats of heavenly drums on handling and handing over his daughter sita who is duly sanctified with sanctified waters king janaka is completely overwhelmed with cheerful and excitement for the successful performance of his bit as a father and is said this come on lakshmana safe betides you say yes to urmila the one who is decided by me to be given to you take her palms in your laps not the time janaka having said to lakshmana that way he also addressed bharata o bharata the delight of ragus take mandavi's palm in your in your palm that honorable king of mithila even said to satrugnya o skillful satrugnya take the palm of shrutrakirti in yours o rama lakshmana and bharata satrugnya you all are tender heart, tender hearted well behaved and well intentioned brothers from kakushta lineage that is descendants without lapse of time take up other ceremonies so said uh, so said janaka to bridegrooms all the four bridegrooms are palm in palm holding the palms of the hand with all the four bride, brides paying heed to janaka's words and abiding in vasishta's orchestration of vedic hymns and procedures on performing circumblations that is to go around in circular circles along with their wives around the ritual fire and around the altar of fire and that way around king janaka the awarder of wives and around sages 
as well as for they conducted the marriage well, those great souled bride bridegrooms that have emerged from Raghu's dynasty and performing future deeds of ritual consistent to the customs as directed by Vasishta, they are all wed. There occurred rich and highly dazzling flower showers from heavens and that ambience is filled with the drum beats of divine drums and with vocal and instrumental music and pomenades. That is the stage where audience and the actors are placed in the same place. Of Aps uh, Apsaras danced and even Gandharvas sang tunefully and because it is a marriage of celebrated bridegrooms from Raghu's dynasty, such a charming spectacle is envisioned. In this kind of ongoingness of harmonious mu music of vocal, instrumental and that of dancers, those great resplendent brothers married their wives on circumambulating the ritual fire thrice. Then those legatees of Raghu went to their visitorial place with their wives, followed by King Dashrata along with assemblage of sages, king flocks, queens and wives included, and Dashrata feasted his eyes on sons and daughter-in-laws. Thus, this is the 70th, 73rd chapter in the Balakanda of Valmiki Ramayana, the first epic poem of India, Sri Mula Rama Vijayate, Sri Krishna Arpanamastu.